Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your laptop to improve your gaming performance. And not just that, you can also improve the performance of your laptop. So if you guys are suffering from a slower laptop, this video will be a very good help for you guys. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. Do not skip any step. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Once you're on your desktop, first thing first you have to do is head over to your settings and then you wanna head to the last option over here that is the windows update section. There you wanna have to ensure that you are always using the latest windows updates just in case you are outdated and the bugs might be causing the issues on your PC. Once again if there are any possible updates you guys have to update it and restart your PC once. Okay once you're done with that you wanna have to head down to the personalization section and then go over to colors. Right over here, you'll find something called transparency effects, which you wanna have to turn off. This will disable all kind of transparency effects, which are issues if you have a low-end PC. After that, head over to the gaming section and then head over to game bar. You're gonna have to turn this thing off because game bar is an overlay service which consumes your RAM and CPU sources. Disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance. And right after that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will disable all kind of unwanted applications running in the background, which might be causing performance performance issues and utilizing your CPU and RAM resources. After that, head down to the graphic settings and then over here you wanna have to turn on optimizations for windowed games to reduce the input latency. This is used for latest AAA title games which uses frame gen cause they need to be played on windowed borderless mode and this thing turned on will help you to optimize your input latency. After that, click on advanced graphic settings and right over here you'll find something called hardware accepted GPU scheduling which should be turned on. This will ensure that your games utilizes your graphic card for rendering. Next step is the display settings and for that simply search for display settings right over here and then you wanna have to go a bit down until you find the advanced display over here. Click on that and then you guys will see a refresh rate. I want you guys to select the highest refresh rate available over here. This might drain your battery but it will help you to smoothen out your gaming experience. If you guys are not a gamer, you guys can set it to 60Hz. Next step is disabling startup applications and for that press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard and this will open up your task manager. What you guys have to do is head over to the fourth tab which is startup apps in which I would recommend you guys to disable all unwanted startup applications off of your PC which you do not use. This will reduce the number of processes running in the background and help you to free up your RAM and CPU while you boot up and will also help you to reduce your BIOS booting time. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're here look for your local disk C click on create and name it something. I would name it laptop just so I can remember it and that should be it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is the laptop optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there in which you'll find in six very useful folders. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct default values for your processor to improve their performance. Second one does the same job, but for your RAM. I use 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your PC from this preset list. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default right over here. The third folder involves input latency fix in which I have left keyboard and mouse latency fix. For your keyboard, I have left these keyboard buffers and for which I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard and mouse specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Second one is mouse latency registry in which I have left a fixed mouse curve. To run it, you guys can simply open it up with registry editor and it will do the job. This will help you to set up the correct smooth curves if you are using a mouse for gaming. It makes your input much more accurate. Fourth one is updating your DirectX and right over here I have left the download for your DirectX. You guys can simply double click to open it up and then select I accept the agreement. Click on the next button. Then uncheck install the Bing bar and then click on the next button once again. It will install all of the latest components for DirectX which will help you to fix black screen issues, micro stuttering and a lot of other things in your game. Once that is done, click on the finish button, go back. Next one is a Visual C runtimes where I have left a ton of VC Redist files. To install them all at once, you guys have to double click and apply the install all CMD file over here. This will start installing all of the runtime packages. It will constantly ask you for permissions. 
And once all of that is done, you guys can now go back. And the last one is the useful programs in which I have left these four simple programs. Let us start with the first one, which is a very simple one that is clean temporary files. You have to right click on it as administrator. It will simply ask you to clean all temporary files off of your PC, wherein if you press the enter button, it will start deleting every single one of them. I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. The second one we'll have to go ahead is the process lasso. This is a setup file and to apply that you can simply double click to install it. Click on the OK button and then click on I agree. Click on the next button and then install it. Once that is done, process lasso will open up on your PC. What you guys have to do over here is click on the main button and then you have to head over active power profile. You will have to set this thing to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available on your PC and make sure that pro balance, smart trim, idle saver and performance mode is enabled. Once that is done, you guys can find a list of all of the processes that are running on your PC. Just in case you're running any game, what you guys can do is simply right click on that and then head over to CPU priority, current and then make sure to set this thing to high. This will improve the performance in your games right away. Once that's done, close it. Next one is Quick CPU, which does almost the same thing, but I'm gonna be telling you guys another use of this application. Simply double click to install Quick CPU on your PC. Click on the next button. So if that is already available, you guys cannot install it again. I already have it available on my PC, so I'm gonna quit the installation and open up Quick CPU. Now, once this application opens up, you might see a lot of complicated details right over here, but you do not have to worry. What you guys have to do is slide the core parking index all the way up to 100% to ensure that your cores are up and running and they are not parked. Core parking is a concept in Windows wherein if your processor cores are not in use your pc will automatically park them which might cause performance issues and you do not want that while you're gaming so what you can do is simply slide all of these index up to 100 percent and then click on the apply button once that is done you guys can simply close it last and foremost is the optimizer which i have to right click and run it as administrator this is a very handy yet important tool that can help you to optimize your laptop drastically. First thing first that you guys have to do is head over to the general section and then you have to optimize the performance over here. Disable Office Telemetry, Mozilla Firefox Telemetry, Google Chrome Telemetry and Visual Studio Telemetry. After that, head over to the Windows 11 section. Then you have to disable Edge Telemetry, Windows Inc. After that, head over to the cleaner section and right over here, you have to clean your temporary files, BSOD mini dumps, error report, empty or recycle bin. For your Google Chrome, I would recommend you guys to clean your cache for all of your browsers select the cache files first you wanna head over and then click on the analyze button it will start analyzing all of the files that must be deleted off of your pc and it will show you the maximum size to be freed after that click on the clean button and it will do the task automatically after that you guys can simply close your optimizer once all of this is done i would recommend you guys to restart your pc once next step is ms config and for that you have to press your windows and r key together and then type in ms config over here press enter on your keyboard and this will open up system configuration what you guys have to do is head over to the boot section and click on advanced option and click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc click on ok and then head over to the services tab and right over here you'll find a lot of services that are running on your pc what you guys have to do is select hide all microsoft services to ensure that you're only looking at the services which are application based what you guys have to do over here is start disabling all unnecessary services which are not in use some of these services can include rgb services fan control services browser update services and other services which you feel that you are not using at the moment. You can simply uncheck them, click on the apply button and then click on OK and once that is done, click on exit without restart. Next step is disk defragmentation and simply search for disk defragment and optimize drives over here. Select a local disk C and look at the media type. If it is a solid state drive, click on the optimize button and it will start trimming the SSD. This will help you to fix up the unutilized partitions between data on your SSD. And if you have a hard disk drive, what you guys have to do is simply click on the analyze button. It will start analyzing it. And after that, click on the optimize button and it will start fragmenting the hard disk drive. It is the same thing but hard disk drives are better fragmented and SSDs are better trimmed. Look at the drives which says needs optimization over here and then click on optimization for all of those drives. It will drastically improve the performance and once that is done you guys can simply close it and after that you have to restart your PC once again. And I'm sure that after applying all of these settings you might see performance improvements on your laptop. Let me know how this guide has went for you guys and if I have missed out any steps do leave them in the comments below and 
I'll be covering them in my next upcoming guide. I hope this guide might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button since you're really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.